You heard me say it a million times. Listen to me. I'm allergic. Are you hearing me? I'm allergic to average. And the problem with a lot of you is you're not allergic to average, all right? You got to do me a huge favor, man. You lying to yourself. On one point, you said you want to be great. You want to do great things. You want to have greatness. You want to be great. Listen to me. But on the other hand, for real, for real, you comfortable with average. And I told you, listen to me. I don't care what side of the, 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 the railroad track you were born on. I don't care if you affluent. I don't care if you privileged. I don't care if you grew up in poverty with the father, without a father, with a mom, without uh, uh, adopted. I don't care. Listen to me. The reason why I'm telling you that I'm allergic to average is not personal. T is allergic to it because success is allergic to average. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Success and average don't have nothing to do with each other. So you can't say you want to be successful. You can't say there are certain dreams and goals, there are things you want to have and things you want to be if you are still average. I need you to be honest with yourself and ask yourself, T, where am I? What, what do I know and, and, and what don't I know and how much more do I need to know to get to where I am? What abilities do I have? What abilities don't I have? What skills don't I have? What skills do I still need to get? If I don't acquire those skills, it's going to allow me to be stuck where I am. If you're an underdog out there, that means you don't have the resources that other people have. That means that you don't have the support that other people have, all right? I need you to do me one big favor. The first thing I need you to do for me, baby, is I need you to coach. I got you. Just take the fight to him. You better hear what I'm telling you. If you ain't got what everybody else got, if you destroy the dude on the team, right? If you ain't got all the hype, if you ain't got all the speed, one of the things that you're going to have to do if you want to make your dream a reality, you got to take the fight to him. I, ch I dare you, I double dare you, take the fight to him. Listen to me, pain is temporary. It may last for a minute or an hour or a day or even a year, but eventually it will subside and something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. I'm telling you as I leave, I was homeless for two and a half years. And the problem with most of you, you never felt no pain before. Y'all spoiled. Y'all spoiled. Some of y'all spoiled. Just bottom line. Your parents have done everything for you. You never had to do nothing for yourself. You're spoiled. We're going to keep it real tonight. Some of you are spoiled brats. Every time you ever got in trouble, somebody in your house got you out of it. Every time you've done something you're not supposed to do, people say, Eric, your mother's a tyrant. You're right. She kicked me out. You're right. She's mean, but she developed a man because she put me out there and said, you're going to have to grow up. And some of you have never learned to grow up. And so every time something get hard, you quit, you call mama. I dare you to take a little pain. I dare you.